What's going on, guys? Money Webby here. A down night last night. Very disappointing. I would be lying if I didn't say that right off the bat. Some people out there would just lie and say, like, oh, I'm winning every single night. But that is literally impossible in DFS. It is a daily game for a reason. There is ups and downs. Some nights, the best people in the game have a down night. And Madison Bumgarner, he had a pretty down night. He had 19 DraftKings points against a Colorado team that had been playing very bad as of late. He got hit around a decent amount. So it w And the Giants' offense didn't help him out at all because he only let up like two runs last night and they still got the loss. So yeah, he could have easily got the win if the bats just helped him out. And also, uh, my second pitcher, Chen... He is supposed to be a pretty safe guy, but he got a negative three for us last night. So that definitely limited it. Just like one guy like that can really hold down the rest of your roster or your lineup. Yeah, the first time he played the Mets, he literally got 21 DraftKings points. And then that time, like at home in Miami, I thought he'd be up for the challenge. He got, drops a negative three. Chen, what the hell were you doing last night? I'm, I might go... I might go drive to Miami because I live like three hours away. Drive, knock on Chen's door and say, what the hell was that last night, man? You let me down and you let down the money mob if you used Chen last night. So leave a like if you want me to go knock on Chen's door right now and give a piece of my mind because Chen has it coming to him tonight. But we got a 12-game slate tonight, so let's get it going i feel much better about these 12 game slates last night was a six game slate it's a lot harder to choose like a safe and reliable pitcher with less games this slate it's like the top it's like the best pitchers in every team going tonight so i definitely like this slate a lot more i'm feeling pretty damn good about it so leave a like if you're excited for a 12 game slate and if you're ready to go win some money and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as well to join the money mob the best place for your dfs advice i put a lot of time into this stuff so you definitely want to subscribe for this great content and you can follow me on twitter at money webby for my full lineup before lock and i'm also giving out three extra lineups for just five dollars on paypal or <clears throat> twenty dollars for the week so definitely hit me up there on twitter on facebook whatever you can click on the link to join the money mob on facebook to ask some questions and stuff like that but let's get into my two aces of the day and my three bats my triple play my favorite three bats let's friggin go my first ace of the day, Noah Syndergaard for 11400 against Miami. They're going to be calling this guy Noah's Ark after this game because he's going to be building the Ark that's going to lead us to the money tonight. I love the matchup, and he's been lights out this year. And the two starts, he has nine strikeouts and seven strikeouts. He is a heavy strikeout guy. So he can definitely rack up the DK points. And the Mets are also favored to win this game. So the extra four DK points will be coming our way with the win. He can easily go deep in games. He has a lot of pitchers available in his arm. That thing is a rocket when it's coming in. And it's going to be a rocket tonight. A lot of strikeouts coming your way. I think he's safe for around 25 plus drafting points. So you got to lock him in. My second ace of the day is going to be Julio Terrion for 8,500 against San Diego. And another quick point on Noah Syndergaard, their run total, their over-under is only at 7 runs in that game. So they're not expecting many runs at all. So I definitely love Syndergaard in that spot. And also in Julio's game, Atlanta against San Diego, they're only expecting 7.5 runs in this game. So not many runs coming at all. So Julio is definitely in a good spot. And he's been lights out this year. Two games and he hasn't even allowed a run yet. I think he can definitely do that again against a San Diego lineup. They're not very good. They swing for the fences every single game. So he could rack up some strikeouts in this spot. I think the Braves will win in this game as well. They're favored to do so. At home, he's going to be comfortable. He's going to be rocking. That ERA might stay at zero. That'd be very, very impressive for the young and upcoming guy, Julio. I love him. You got to lock him in. 
My first battle of the day is going to be Jay Bruce or Bruce Almighty as I like to call him for 3,500 against Miami. He's going against a right-handed pitcher and that is great news for Jay Bruce. He's going to be licking his chops because the power is off the charts against right-handed pitchers. So I think he can definitely go deep for a home run in this game. Last night, he had a little bit extra batting practice. He had seven at bat. So he's probably seeing the ball pretty damn well after last night. I think he could connect, get some extra base hits tonight. And he's actually been hitting well for his average at 300 so far this year. I think he's motivated after being getting traded from the Reds. He's comfortable in this new Mets team. So I'm loving him in the spot. He can go deep. Definitely get you that home run points that everyone's looking for. You got to find the home runs or you're not going to win. And Jay Bruce is going to lead you right to that. So lock him in. My second bat is going to be Salvador Perez for 3,400 against the Angels. He's going against a pitcher in J.C. Ramirez, who is one of the worst pitchers on this slate. So I love Salvador Perez, and the wind is blowing out perfectly to left field for him. He's a right-handed batter, so he can easily pull a ball right over that left field wall and get you the home run points. He already has four home runs on the year. I think he won four straight games with a home run earlier this year. He did. He's going to get that streak back going in this game. He's starting it off with a home run against J.C. Ramirez. Lock him in. My third and final bat is going to be Freddie Freeman for 4,600 against San Diego. There is two things I love in this matchup. First off, he's going against a right-handed pitcher in Chachin. And also against this guy, he has two home runs off him and only nine at bat. So he definitely likes the matchup. And I don't blame him. The pitcher is less than stellar, definitely. And he's having a very good year, averaging 333 and hitting three home runs already on the year. He can definitely make it a fourth home run in this game against a pretty bad pitcher. So I like his chances. Lock him in. So that's going to do it, guys. You have your two aces of the day and Noah's Ark and Julio and your three bats. You got Salvador Perez, Freddie Freeman, and Bruce Almighty. So I'm liking the place that that lineup is going. And if you want the full lineup, I tweet it out every single day at MoneyWebby for lock. So definitely follow me there for the lineup and any updates to my plays if there is any like rain out or anything like that. So you got to follow me there and you can also dm me if you want the full four lineups i provide it's only five dollars per day so if you do the math that's like a dollar per lineup it's a pretty good deal and in a week seven days it's only twenty dollars so if you do the math that's less than three dollars per day another good deal i'm just trying to get you guys into the money the best way i can we've been pretty consistently winning except last night that was a very disappointing night but this 12 game slate i'm feeling good about it so pound that like button if you enjoyed the video and if you're feeling good about tonight and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to join the money mob the best place for your dfs advice and your your DFS needs you can comment any questions you have down below in the video or just join the Facebook group just click on the link in the description below It'll take you right there you can ask some questions I will usually try to answer them or anyone else in the group will give you a hand so definitely subscribe join the Facebook group follow me on Twitter do all that good stuff I appreciate the support so far guys I hope we are in the money tonight I love you guys money mob this is why I wake up in the morning every single day to give you guys my DFS play. So let's get it done tonight, guys. Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow.